Welcome. Thanks for joining everyone. Uh, welcome to Wellness Wednesdays with Mindful Nurses. It's great to have everyone joining this evening, this morning, wherever you are in the world. I just want to take a deep breath before we get started. Just taking a moment to drop into this space to notice how you're feeling. There's a lot going on in the world right now, a lot of noise, uncertainty, and stress. You may be feeling anxious and uncertain, sad, angry, fearful, hopeful, whatever feelings you may be feeling, all of it's okay. <sighs> thank you for coming here today. Um, thank you for joining us for this hour, just to unplug and unwind and drop in with yourself. Uh, welcome, thank you for coming. You can drop a note in the chat just to let us know where you're coming from, um, how you're feeling today. <sighs> yeah, thanks for arriving. Thanks for being here with us. So my name's Janelle, and we have these events every Wednesday. Um, Claudia Wong and I host these events through Mindful Nurses. This is a space we created to support nurses' holistic well-being through self-care, mindfulness, and holistic wellness practices that we hope will reduce stress and support calm and prevent burnout among nurses because nursing is such a challenging profession. So we want to create a space for nurses to receive because nurses are giving so much. We want you to receive. So that's what this is about. And today we have a beautiful session of gentle yoga, which is just what we can use today, all of us need some time just to relax probably at the end of your day, on a stressful, stressful day for many of us. So we're happy to welcome Sarah here today. Sarah is gonna be sharing gentle yoga. This is open for all levels, beginner to advanced. We'll be doing some um, gentle flowy asana movements and some breathing practices to promote relaxation. And Sarah is a very dear friend, both Claudia and I, we did our advanced yoga training together. And Sarah is from the US, but currently based in New Zealand. She is teaching yoga and meditation uh, there. And she also hosts retreats in Bali. And she lives in New Zealand with her husband and two kids. And she's really passionate about sharing yoga to promote calm, uh, connect us to our inner calm. So we're really happy to have her here with us. Sarah has a very grounding presence and very sincere, genuine person. And um, she also cares a lot about nurses because she has so many family members who are nurses, her parents, and her husband is an ER doc. So she's basically an honorary nurse as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> um, so we're super happy to have you all joining us for this gentle yoga practice. Please enjoy. And thank you, Sarah, for sharing with us. I'll turn it over to you. Thanks, Sarah. Yeah, thank you, Janelle, for giving me this opportunity. And welcome, everyone. We will start in a comfortable seat. So whatever that is for you, I adjust my screen here to see the map. Whatever that is for you, it could be cross-legged on the floor or maybe sitting on the shins. Do sit up on something, a cushion or a block or a book so that your hips are elevated above the knees. You can scoot back and sit up against the wall. If sitting on the floor isn't comfortable for you at all, sit in a chair, just a position where you can have a long neutral spine and you're, if you're sitting in the chair, the feet firmly planted on the ground. Once you find this position, close the eyes down Start to breathe in and out through the nose. And just take a scan of the body. Notice what you notice. There's no right or wrong answer. We're just gathering information. So whatever comes up, recognize it, take a note of it, and then let it go. 
bring our attention back to the breath, creating a steady, even pace so that the inhale and exhale are the same length of time. One of the ways I like to you know, establish a rhythm or a cadence to my breath is with mantra. So we'll do that now. Breathing in, I calm my body. Breathing out, I smile. Dwelling in this present moment, I know this is a wonderful moment. Breathing in, I calm my body. Breathing out, I smile. Dwelling in this present moment, I know this is a wonderful moment. Calming, smiling, present moment, wonderful moment. You can repeat this mantra a few more times. Keep the lips together and separate the teeth slightly. Take the tongue away from the back of the teeth and relax the muscles around the eyes and ears. Continue to breathe in and out through the nose, expanding the rib cage in 360 degrees, and keeping that space as you exhale and passively let the air leave your body. Let the mantra float away. Let's come back to the breath. Continue with Nadi Shotanas. This is an alternate nostril breathing technique. And if you make the peace sign with your right hand, your pointer and middle finger are extended, then we'll flip that. Take those two fingers down, and now you've got the thumb, the ring finger, and the pinky extended. Bring the right thumb to your right nostril, plug it closed, and inhale through the left. Plug the left nostril, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. And keep it going five more cycles with your own breath's pace. We finish when we exhale through the left nostril. This practice is thought to balance two of our three major nadis. So nadis are the energetic channels in our body. They're called meridians in Chinese medicine. And the ida and pingala nadi start at the sacrum, cross the spine seven times and terminate in each nostril. So this practice is balancing those two nadis, which are usually described as sun and moon, hot and cold, or masculine and feminine but it also stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system. Anytime that we're breathing slowly and deeply, we can kind of get into that space. So it's a really great practice, maybe after a shift, if you feel a little bit wound up and it's hard to go to bed, you can even do this lying down. Once you've finished your five cycles, just rest your hands on your body wherever they land be palms down or palms up. 
and keep that same quality to the breath. Really steady, even pace in and out. And even pressure throughout the full length of the inhale and the full length of the exhale. And keep your eyes closed. Make your way down to your back. And hug the knees into the chest. Back of the head stays on the ground. And just pause here for a few breaths. Feeling the pressure on the hip flexors. Feel your belly press against the thighs. And now take your palms to your knees, widen the legs, and pull the knees up toward the armpits. Lengthen your tailbone forward. Shoulders are heavy. And now release the knees, grab the outer edges of the feet for happy baby. And we'll pull down, flex the feet, reach the tailbone forward. And as you're ready, rock side to side. And straighten one or both legs, just be playful with it. And then roll on to your right side. You can cradle your head and hug the knees into the chest. We'll inhale the left arm up overhead, stack the shoulders, and then exhale. Start to lower the left shoulder down, open up, look out toward the left fingertips. Inhale, left arm up. Stack yourself here and exhale, open up. Inhale, get long and exhale, open. This time stay here for a full breath in and out. One more, fill up and empty. Inhale, left arm up and exhale. Take the hand down, pause here. As you're ready, find your way back on your back. Knees bent, feet planted, hands on the belly. And we'll stay here for two breaths. And now roll onto your left side, cradle yourself here, hug the knees into the chest and right arm lifts toward the ceiling. Shoulders are stacked, inhale, reach a little higher and exhale, open up. Inhale, stack the shoulders, reach up and exhale, take it back. Inhale and exhale. This time stay open. Maybe the right shoulder reach into the mat. Inhale, right arm up and exhale. Take a hand down in front of the chest. Pause here. Now make your way back up to seated position on your mat. We'll inhale the arms up overhead, palms touch, and exhale hands to the heart. Inhale, interlace the fingers, flip the palms, straighten the arms, and then exhale, arch back, chin to chest. Inhale, lengthen the spine, arms up overhead, 
and exhale by your sides. Inhale up. Exhale heart. Inhale, interlace the fingers, lift the palms and exhale, take it back. Inhale, lengthen the spine and exhale by your sides. One more time like this with your breath. Try and take the full length of the inhale to get to the top and the full length of the exhale to get to the bottom. Now inhale, both arms up overhead, shoulder width apart, and exhale, take the right hand down, dip over. Left palm is facing toward the ground. Inhale, both arms up, look up, and exhale to the right. Same thing here, pull in that left side to open the right. Inhale, both arms up, and exhale, twist to the right. Left hand comes to the outside of the right knee. The right hand comes in close. Sit up tall and look over the shoulder. Inhale to unwind, arms up overhead. And exhale, twist to the left. Same thing here. We use the inhale for length and the exhale for depth. Inhale to unwind, arms up overhead, and exhale, hands to heart. Come forward onto hands and knees for tabletop. Just spread the fingers wide and take the hands a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Shoulders are stacked over wrists, hips over knees. We find a neutral spine, so you might need to lift the tailbone or tuck it a little depending, but take a hand to the small of the back and feel that you've got the little curve there. You take the hand behind the neck as well to make sure you've got the curve there. And once you find it, reach the tailbone back and your chest forward so you've got a long neutral spine. Inhale, lift the tailbone higher, drop the belly, head comes up for cow. And exhale, tuck the tailbone, arch the spine, head comes down. Inhale for cow. And exhale, cat. Few more cycles with your breath. Find those areas that need a little bit extra time and stay there. There's no right or right, wrong way to move. Close your eyes and start adding any kind of free movement that you like. It doesn't need to be even left to right or front to back. Just kind of exploring what your spine can do right now. And then come back to neutral. Inhale, extend the right leg behind you. We'll keep it hip height and turn all five toes down toward the mat, even the pinky. Inhale and reach a little further behind you. And then exhale, cross this leg over toward the left, set the toes down and reach back through the heel. And now we'll look over the left shoulder. Maybe you can see the foot. Inhale, extend the right leg behind. And exhale, set the knee down. Shift the hips left and right. And then we'll get the other side. Inhale, extend the left leg behind. We stay on the exhale. Turn the left hip down, turn the toes down. Inhale, lift up from the inner thigh and reach that left heel back. Exhale. Cross the foot over to the right, set the toes down, reach the heel back. 
As you're ready, look over the right shoulder. See if you can see your foot. Inhale, extend the left leg behind. And exhale, set the knee down. Shift the hips. Now slide the hands forward a couple inches. Tuck the toes, lift the knees. Find a down dog. Soft down dog. So keep the knees bent, keep the elbows soft. Tailbone reaches toward the ceiling. And the crown of the head is reaching down toward the mat. The ears might be between the biceps. Spend a long back of the neck. Now inhale, bend the knees even more, look forward. And exhale, start to walk your feet to your hands so that you're in a forward fold at the front of your mat. Bend the knees generously here so that the head and hands can be heavy. We're unweighting the spine. Then grab opposite elbows. Notice where your weight is. If you're hanging out in the heels a lot, you might need to come forward a little bit, find the middle of your foot. Keep the knees bent as much as you need to to really feel space between each vertebrae. And swing left and right. Release the elbows. On your next inhale, slowly start to roll up one vertebrae at a time. Take two full breaths to get to the top. Roll the shoulders back and down, palms forward, Tadasana. Feet are hip width apart. We're going to keep the knees soft again. Shoulders are over hips and ears over shoulders. Close the eyes down and just Feel what you feel here. Try lifting all 10 toes and then setting them back down. Flutter the eyes open. We'll bend the knees even more. We're gonna borrow from Qigong here for a moment. So we bend the knees and press down through the heels. Kind of notice what that does for the belly. And then inhale, bring the palms to the chest, elbows come wide. Exhale, press the hands back down. Inhale, palms up. Exhale down. Like you're moving through something with a bit of resistance. Inhale, hands come up. And exhale down. We'll add on to this now. Inhale, palms to the chest. Exhale, arms up to a T, flex at the wrist. Inhale, arms up overhead. And exhale, float the hands down. Knees are still bent. Inhale, palms to the chest. Exhale, open to a T. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, float the hands down. One more time like this. And now inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward, bend the knees, chest comes on the thighs. Inhale, arms back up overhead, keep the knees bent. And exhale by your sides. Inhale up. Exhale fold. Inhale arms up overhead. Exhale by the sides. Last one like this. Inhale up. Exhale fold. Inhale arms up overhead. Exhale by your sides. 
And now start to straighten the legs without locking the knees. Reach the crown up toward the ceiling and the fingertips down toward the floor. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, open the mouth and sigh. One more like that. Breathe in. Breathe out. Gently bring the lips back together. We'll do a modified sun salve. Inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees on your way down. Inhale, half lift. Hands to the shins. Look out over the eyebrows. And exhale, fold. Plant the hands. Take yourself back to knee plank. Bend the elbows and come all the way to the belly. Inhale for baby cobra. No weight in the hands. We're squeezing the elbows in toward the ribs and back toward the hips. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, wave forward through cat. Pick up the feet, point the toes. And exhale, tuck the toes, lift the knees, down dog. Say three breaths here. Keep the knees bent. And if you'd rather pause in child's pose, you can do that too. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. And exhale, walk the feet to the hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extended mountain, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart. Let's do that again. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, take it back to knee plank. Bend the elbows and come all the way to the belly. Inhale for baby cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, wave forward. Pick up the feet. Exhale, tuck the toes. Lift the knees, down dog. Three more breaths here. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, walk feet to the hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extended mountain, arms overhead. And exhale, hands to the heart. Close the eyes down, let the hands come on either side of the waist, palms forward. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth and sigh. One more. Eyes closed or open. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, take the left leg back, drop the knee and flatten the foot. You can pad your knee with a blanket here or a cushion. And we'll take both hands to the inside of the right foot and walk your right foot to the right edge of the mat. So we've got a wide stance here. We'll start to rock the hips forward and back a little bit. You can even start to make this a circular motion. We're kind of tracing the hip joint. You go in both directions. Again, you really don't need to do this in an even pattern. Just kind of wiggle around and explore right now.
Now shift the hips back and straighten the right leg. Flex the foot, bring the toes back toward the shin and reach your chest forward. Now bend into that knee again. We'll take the hands on either side of the foot and wiggle the foot back to the center. Shift the hips back again to release the foot. We'll come down to the knees. Plant the hands. Bend the elbows, come down to the belly. Inhale for baby cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, wave forward. Take up the feet and exhale, tuck the toes, lift the knees, down dog. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. And exhale, walk feet the hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extended mountain, arms overhead. And exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands, step the right leg back, drop the knee and flatten the foot. Take both hands to the inside of the foot and walk the left foot to the left edge. And start making those, those circles. Shifting the hips forward and back. Starting off slowly and then maybe working your way into straightening the front leg. There's no right or wrong way to do this. You can kind of linger with your hips reaching toward the mat. Now we'll keep both hands to the inside, straighten the left leg, reach the toes toward the shin and the chest comes forward. Now bend into the front knee, wiggle your foot back in between the hands. Shift the hips back, unweight the foot. Plant the hand, bend the elbows, lower all the way down. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, wave forward, pick up the feet. And exhale, tuck the toes, lift the knees, down dog. Three breaths here. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. And exhale, walk the feet to the hands. Inhale, half lift, look up over the eyebrows. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extended mountain, arms up overhead. And exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands, step the left leg back, and we'll keep it a shorter stance than we normally would. Both knees are bent, pull the belly in, and roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Arms come up overhead, and now we're in a shortened crescent warrior. Pull the right hip back, Left hip forward, lift the skin above the pubic bone and let the tailbone be heavy. Inhale, reach up and look up. Exhale, spin the back heel down parallel with the short edge of the mat and open up for a shortened warrior two. Try and keep 
both knees bent. And if this feels a little bit odd, that's okay. You can also call this surfing warrior. And now inhale, reach the arms and torso forward and bring the elbow to the knee. Left hand comes up overhead. Look up at that top hand. Inhale, arms to a T and exhale. Windmill the hands down, that left heel lifts up. You step the right foot to meet the left, down to the knees, bend the elbows all the way to the belly. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, way forward, pick up the feet. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the knees down dog. Three breaths here. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, walk, beat the hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extended mountain, arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands to the right foot back, about two thirds of your normal stance. Head and hands are heavy. Inhale and start to roll up. For a shortened crescent warrior, arms come up overhead, palms facing one another. Exhale, sink a little deeper, square the hips. Inhale, reach up and look up. Exhale, spin the back heel down and open up for your shortened warrior two or your surfing warrior. Bend both knees, sink down and you can rock forward and back. Just play with how you balance between both feet. Inhale, arms and torso come forward. And exhale, elbow to knee for side angle. Second side, we're spiraling the left side of the rib cage up toward the ceiling. Inhale, arms and torso up, surfing warrior. And exhale, windmill the hands down. Pick up the right heel, plant the hands, step the left foot to meet the right, Come down to the knees, bend the elbows, lower all the way down. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, way forward, pick up the feet. And exhale, tuck the toes, lift the knees, down dog. Three breaths here, keep the knees bent, elbows soft. Head and neck are hanging down toward the mat. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. And exhale, walk feet to hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extended mountain arms overhead. And exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, up, exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Plant the hands, take it back to the knees, lower to the belly. Inhale for baby cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, wave forward through cat, pick up the feet, and exhale, tuck the toes, lift the knees, down dog. Three more breaths here. And now come down to the knees, take the knees wide, bring the toes together, sink the hips back. For child's pose. 
Take a few breaths here and feel your belly press against the inner thighs. Inhale, reach the fingertips forward a little bit more. And then exhale, walk your hands over to the left. Shorten the left side, the length in the right. Take a couple breaths here. Inhale, fill up the right side of the rib cage, expand. And exhale, let it go. One more like that. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, come back to center. Nice, stay for the exhale. Inhale, reach a bit forward. And exhale, take it over to the right. Stay here, breathe in, fill up. Let it go. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, fill up and empty. Inhale, bring the hands back to center. We stay for the exhale. Lift the forehead, start to bring the hips forward and find tabletop again. Stack the shoulders over the wrist, hips over the knees, and then inhale. Right arm up to the ceiling. Look up at the top hand. And exhale, thread the needle. Take the top of the hand along the mat and through right ear or cheek comes to the floor. Left elbow stays high. Inhale, right arm back up. And exhale, set the hand down. Shift the hips left and right again. And back to center. And then inhale, left arm up to the ceiling. Thread the needle. Take it through. Left ear or cheek comes to the mat. Right elbow stays high. Inhale, left arm up to the ceiling. And exhale, take the hand down. Shift the hips. And then slide the hands forward a couple inches, come to a knee plank. Bend the elbows and come all the way down. The legs are extended long behind us. Forehead is touching down on the mat. Take your hands the outside corners of the front of your mat. We'll come to fingertips. And here really, you can make this um, as wide as you like, as far from your hips as you like. The wider your arms are, the further they are away from your hips, the less intense the back bend will be. But the more close your hands are together and the closer to your hips, it'll be more intense. So. We'll kind of play with this. Maybe start with the corners of your mat, and then you can make it more or less to suit what you're looking for today. But imagine you've got a string tied right in the center of your shoulder blades, and we're going to lift up from there. So inhale, lift up from the mid back. Head is heavy. Come all the way up, then lift the head up. Now exhale, we're going to lower down chest first. And then the forehead follows. Inhale, 
from the mid back, come up, lift up the head, and then exhale, lead with the chest, come back down, rolling cobra with your breath, breathe in, and breathe out. Three more like that. Now bring your forehead down. We'll stack the hands underneath the forehead, elbows wide and relax here. Let the heels fall to the corners of the mat. And then start to shift the heels left and right. Wiggle all the way up the legs to the hips. And back down. Find stillness again. Lift the forehead and plant your hands underneath the shoulders. And we'll come back to a narrow leg child's pose. Inhale, start to drag your hands back toward your knees. We'll roll up. You can just sit on your heels, and if this isn't comfortable, then sit up on a cushion or a blanket. Bring the tops of the hands to the thighs, palms up, and take a few breaths here. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, open the mouth and sigh. One more breath. Flood the eyes open. Come to a seat. Take the legs out in front of you, knees bent, feet planted, and roll down to the back. Pause here. Bring your hands to your belly. And now pick up your right foot, cross the right ankle over the left knee, flex the foot, and press the right knee down toward the front corner of the mat. Take your arms out to a T with the palms up. We're going to let the right foot fall over to the left. Maybe the sole of the foot touches the mat, maybe not. Try and keep the right shoulder grounded. And if it's okay for your neck, Look in the direction of the right fingertips. Close the eyes down and try the breath pattern. Exhale twice as long as the inhale. Inhale, bring that leg back and set the foot down on the mat. Pause here. Pick up the left foot, cross the left ankle over the right knee. Flex the foot to protect the knee and then start urging it down toward the front corner of the mat.
when you're ready, let this right foot fall over to the left. Maybe it reaches the ground. Left shoulder stays down and look out over the right finger or left fingertips and close the eyes down. Try that breath pattern again. Exhale twice as long as the inhale. So if you inhale for a count of three, you're exhaling for six. Inhale, bring that left foot back up, set it on the mat, pause here. Take your feet mat width apart, let the knees knock in and touch. Separate the legs, hug the knees into the chest again. Wrap the arms around, but keep the back of the skull on the mat. And then take the palms to the knees, widen the legs, and hug the knees in close. Release the knees, grab the outer edges of the feet. Pull down again for happy baby, lengthen the tailbone forward. Rock side to side a bit. Straighten the legs. Release the feet, hug yourself in one more time. This time lift up the head, curl yourself into a little ball, squeeze in, and then on an exhale, let go. Take the legs long to the corners of the mat, the arms wide, palms up for Shavasana. If you wanna put a bolster underneath the knees, you can. Cover up with a blanket. Start to let the breath go now. Let it be shallow and heavy and unconscious. Start to pull that shell of awareness a little bit closer around your body. Take a deep breath in and fill up. Exhale, let it go. Wiggle the fingers and toes. Circle the ankles and wrists. Bring the legs together and the arms overhead for a long stretch. 
Like the knees into the chest. Find your way over to one side. As you're ready, make your way back to an easy seat. Try and keep the eyes closed. Bring the hands to the heart and finish the practice with an OM. First of all, inhale and exhale. And then inhale the OM. Thumbs the forehead. And thanks and gratitude for this practice of exploration. Bowing forward. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you for this wonderful class. I feel so relaxed and yeah, very grounded after that practice. Thank you. And thank you everyone. For, yes. And thank you everyone for joining. Um, yeah, it's great to have you guys coming every week. Please keep coming back every week. We're having different practices from yoga. Later on this month, we have Qigong, which Sarah brought in a little bit of the Qigong taster today. So if you liked the Qigong movements in the classes today, we'll be doing a full Qigong foundations class later this month. Um, we also have some mindset coaching on how to create a morning routine and make the most of your day. It's really exciting. We have a mindset coach who's going to help us walk us through a good morning routine for ourselves. And we also have an EFT practitioner sharing emotional freedom technique, which is tapping on different uh, acupressure points in our body while we use um, neuro-linguistic programming, saying different affirmations to um, basically accept our emotions and um, have some emotional healing through this practice. So lots of wonderful practices in store for the rest of the month, every Wednesday here, uh, 6 p.m. Pacific time, 9 p.m. East Coast, and wherever else you are in the world. So please come join us again. And thank you again, Sarah, for joining us today and sharing this wonderful gentle yoga practice. We really appreciated it. And we'll be sharing the recording of today's session for anyone who missed it live and also Sarah's contact information. So you can connect with her if you want more classes or to join one of her retreats in Bali, possibly in the future, um, follow Sarah for that. So have a beautiful evening, everyone. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, everyone. Good evening. Good